So the, the, <laughs> the third and final round. Apparently, the Sherpa bag training is going along very well. Uh, that was completely not planned. I was actually getting ready to unzip it so he could get in there. So Ellie, let me give you this one over here. So now we're going to practice with him being up in the air with it. What a goober. There are sides you can roll up so they can see. So you can see for your dog what they like better. Some dogs like to see, some dogs it makes them calmer if they can't see. So just experiment and see which your dog likes. Some don't care. All right, we're gonna do a little snap and Ellie's after the cookies in my hand. Pick them up. And we're just gonna take a couple steps and a giant shake. And I'm gonna give him a cookie through the top here. Here's your snack, up here. Oh, good boy. And I'm gonna give Ellie a snack, get her out of my way. And now I'm gonna try a longer one. Now we leave tomorrow, so I'll be doing some of the walking around tonight as well as tomorrow during the day. They will rotate to one side or the other, so I just kind of pick them up by both. And then I still kind of hang on to this because if they move to one side of the bag or another, then they're going to be shifting around and it's, you could end up dropping them. And that would not be good for your training. So now we're just going to walk around. Good job, nice. Good boy. And I don't hear him freaking out. He's not scratching around in there or not making any funny sounds. Take that down. If he stays in there, he, you can see he does not look at all concerned. He just wants his cookie for staying in there. So this is the kind of behavior that I'm looking for. So next stop, Tucson, Arizona and Boston Terrier Nationals.